everybody. This is Rose with Earth Rugs. I hope you're subscribing to my YouTube channel and uh, that you enjoy this video today. I haven't been able to set up my cell phone exactly like I want, so I'm going to hold up some things in front of you to see. Today's the first in a series of green beans almondine. I'm going to get started right away. The first thing I wanted to to tell you is that the key to this dish is actually starting with fresh green beans. I don't use frozen. I buy fresh. You need one and a half pounds of green beans or if you buy the kind that come in the package that's 24 ounces. So I have pre-washed some green beans and what you do is very simple. You pop off the ends like so and you cut them into one and a half inch size bite sized pieces and so I don't actually cut them that's the greatest thing about this recipe I don't have to use a lot of utensils or anything like that I love the sound of this um, I remember it from my youth well my grandmother would have me help her she would have actually fresh green beans from her garden and they tasted much more amazing than anything that I could buy in the store today although I'm pretty sure you can get your green beans at the farmers market the other thing I really love about this recipe is a lot of times people do sauteed green beans and they do something on the stovetop and everything like that I'm going to microwave the green beans in a bath of salt water and the reason that I really love microwave cooking is that it is so fast and easy and I only use one pan. It's a beautiful Corningware French white and so I have already started my green beans. This recipe will serve four people and tonight it's just Eddie and me and so what I'm planning on doing is serving it with I don't know some pasta something simple. I might add cheese I might not. He prefers to go vegan so maybe I won't do that. Um, this recipe is vegan. Uh, so I'm going to just pop one or two more of these green beans into my French white. I guess it's really not a saute pan. It's a casserole dish and it's the largest size in the series. Love the scent and I love the smell and I wanted to show you here are my green beans before they're going in the microwave. Okay, so I told everyone that's one and a half pounds and we're getting, um, let's see, some salt water. So you're going to use, I'm going to use just a normal Pyrex measuring cup. I'm going to put uh, one teaspoon of salt. You can use less if you want. Uh, that's perfectly fine. I already have um, an instant hot and so I'm going to use my hot water here and uh, it's just one third cup. That's a little bit more than I need because one third cup is less than half. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that out. Yeah, that's about about right. It it may not look like it because I may not be holding it perfectly level, but it's definitely uh, more than a fourth and less than a half. So that's about a third cup for this amount of green beans. It's a salt water bath and just pouring it over the green beans evenly. Um, I'm going to take my handy lid and put this in my microwave oven for six minutes. I have a carousel microwave oven so it completely turns as it's cooking. I just wanted to tell you this is the first in my series for uh, healthy cooking. You know, part of living well and being well is eating well. And this is uh, my green bean almondine. I've been making this recipe since I was maybe 21, 22 years old. Many years I've been making this recipe. So right now what we should probably do is measure some of margarine that I'm going to put in it. You could use butter if you want. It's uh, three tablespoons. And the kind uh, that I'm using tonight is a smart balance and this has been sitting in my car all day so it's kind of soft that's really the way I like it and temperature is really cool outside here so you don't have to worry it's been sitting in my car <laughs> anyway I'm just gonna scoop out with a regular kind of butter knife uh, three tablespoons there's another brand I like a lot that I can get at the health food store called earthbound that I've read about in vegan recipes you could use that as well um, my husband really loves the one that 
has olive oil, the Smart Balance with olive oil. You could use that. So I just kind of pack the butter down. It's really margarine. Just pack it down into my little measure and my little measure tells me that it is three tablespoons. If you don't have a microwave oven that has a turning carousel, you'll need to turn it. And we'll, uh, at six minutes, we'll stop. We'll add the butter and my special secret that I'll share with you momentarily. But I wanted to tell you a little bit more about this recipe. It came to me uh, from my mother-in-law. Uh, she gave me my first microwave oven. It did have a turntable all those years ago. And she wanted to be sure that Eddie and I had the one that was large enough that we could cook a turkey. And uh, we never cooked a turkey <laughs> in our microwave. Uh, that long long past uh, days have gone. That microwave is uh, probably the one we're using in our break room at our office. Now I have a smaller microwave, but it works just as well. And the reason I love microwave cooking, especially for vegetables, is that it basically just steams your vegetables. You can get your stainless steel saute pan out. You can get a lot of things to turn your beans and do this and that, or you could blanch them and you can do all these different things but it's so much easier just to microwave your vegetables. And I want to do a series about eating healthy and making things fast and easy um, for people who, like me, are working, you're coming home, you just have a little crunch time to get together, meals like this. But I also thought that green beans almondine would be something you could share with your friends and family um, throughout the holidays, even through the new year. That's why I picked this recipe. And I I also chose today because I notice in the air when I'm driving around this time of year, there's just one too many cars, a little bit too much traffic, and be with you and inter hopefully entertain you in my kitchen, invite you into my kitchen and share this recipe. It's a delight to be able to serve something healthy, eat something healthy, be good to ourselves. You know, that's a gift in itself to eat well, be well live well. And it's all part of my Earth Rugs philosophy. Like and subscribe to Earth Rugs channel. You know, one of the things that I can share with you right now while the beans are cooking, of course, the earth friendly trivet that I'm going to be putting these beans on right now. You can hear my microwave. I'm going to take uh, a nice wooden utensil. I'm just going to stir these beans. I'll bring it back over to you. Okay. So this is the moment when I add the butter or margarine, whichever you are using. And I think I'm just going to add half of it right now and just stir it in, mixing it with the water. The beans are turning uh, that really bright, beautiful green. Um, I like mine just a little bit more cooked, you know. Um, I'm My microwave is set on its regular temperature. You might need to check yours for longer or shorter cooking times. But the total duration of the cooking time for me is going to be 12 minutes. And that's just right for my taste. I like my beans to be um, crunchy, but not raw. So you could double this recipe if you wanted, or you could half this recipe if there are just two of you. The almonds that we will be adding are found in the baking aisle. So if you go to the baking aisle, you'll find a bag of blanched slivered almonds. They're the kind without the skin. They're already bite sized. I have them here in um, a little silicone bowl that I find really helpful when I'm doing things like this to prep a little bit in advance. If I'm getting ready to entertain at home before my company comes, I get things ready a little bit like this so that then when somebody asks if they can help, it's easy <laughs> to just send them over with the almonds and the butter and my secret ingredient, the nutmeg. So what we're going to do, it's a quarter of a teaspoon. So it's just um, from Whole Foods. And I take off the little sprinkle part and I just scoop up what looks like just a little quarter of a teaspoon. And then I'm going to suggest pepper to taste. 
And as I said before, I, I just have a, I have a grinder, so I'm just going to grind it uh, as if it's a quarter of a teaspoon. You don't have to add the, that much salt or any salt at all. You could just put your beans in the water if you are watching your, your diet in a certain way. But the main thing is, is that we start to eat fresh. I did not get a chance to go to the farmer's market today. I just went to the regular grocery store. So I bought the ordinary kind of green beans in their little package. And if you're invited to somebody's house, what I would suggest that you do, carry it to the block party, the potluck, the, wherever you're going, in your casserole basket, where, where the casserole dish fits like a glove, let me tell you. Uh, and that way you won't get it confused with anybody else's casserole dish, because probably no one else will have the exact same basket from Earth Rugs. So you might wonder um, about the baskets. They come in a set of four. If you're a store, you order wholesale online at earthrugs.com. Otherwise, um, there is the braidedrugplace.com or perhaps a store in your area carries earth rugs and you can ask for them by name. They're natural, eco-friendly, family friendly, very durable. As you might know, we have a line for the table as well as all the way to the floor. So there are coasters, trivets, every kind of accent and everything in between from table to floor. Now, at the last, I am just going to drop my beautiful dish into its beautiful cover and it is ready to serve pretty much what we're going to do is take that quarter teaspoon of nutmeg sprinkle it in okay here's my butter knife i'm going to scoop the rest of that butter out put it in there and the almondine the almonds they're just slivered almonds I'm going to stir that all in together. I'm going to just pop it in the microwave for one more minute. So in total, it cooked for 13 minutes. So I put my little basket, my Snuggie, around the dish and popped it in there for one minute only. Only one minute. And now I'm going to sprinkle some pepper on them and I'm going to show you. Mm, they're cooked to perfection. So all you have to do is take it to the table and put a spoon in it. And I'm going to keep my lid on it and add some pasta. And then I'm going to wrap up this live video. And please send me a comment if you liked it. If you want to see me cook something else, make it simple. <laughs> I'm going to do a, a video upload on my channel, Earth Rugs, uh, once a week, every Thursday. So please look at my uploads on Thursday. Once a month, I'm going to do a recipe. So let's have fun. Okay, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I look forward to my next live video and my next cooking demo, Earth Rugs.